Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Photoshop Magic. Uh, my name is Sopal and today we are going to be talking about how to make an image curl up revealing up another image behind it. It's a very uh, amazing. Uh, you know this channel is designed uh, for <clears throat> on, on the magical and creative power of uh, Photoshop and it's designed to for anyone who has no prior knowledge uh, to get him or her excited and aspire to master Photoshop at a basic and intermediate level. Um, show me that you love my work by subscribing, like, and share my content. And uh, as always, if the video is too detailed or slow, you can always speed it up. Um, thank you very much. And today, uh, as you can see in the uh, thumbnail right here, um, we have a before and we also have an after. Um, we have two images, you know, um, right next to each other right here that we are going to uh, show you how to curl up the first image revealing the second um, image behind it and it has the effect of flipping a page so it's it's pretty amazing okay All right and if you uh, before we get started uh, please destroy that like button by tapping on it until it turns blue for the YouTube algorithm so we'll get suggested to more people um, and right below here we have uh, just some credits to the authors of where I got my images from which I will be showing you guys um, let's get started okay so the very first photo I you know I just did a an image search uh, in pixels which is totally free to use you can see right here I'll show you guys the license in a little bit I kinda like this image and also we have a second image uh, right here we have the waterfall in the rainforest which looks really beautiful um, so let me show you guys, uh, you know, the license of pixels. Um, all these images are free to use. We don't even need to give, you know, attribution. It's not even required, but it's always a best practice to, to give credit to the author, um, which I did. It's also in the description below. Let's get started. So uh, to first thing you want to do is you want to be able to download the two images. So obviously you can, you know, pick out your own images that you like any two images, uh, even your personal ones, feel free. So uh, all you have to do is just come down here, click download. It's going to get downloaded here. We're going to click on the up arrow. We're going to click on the, of the three options, show in folder. And it's going to show up in a folder right here. Perfect. And I already have it saved up. So uh, let's uh, go directly to Photoshop. Perfect. So the very first thing that we want to do is want to be able to open up our two images that we have. So we go to file, we go to open, and then we pick the two images that we have. So in this case, it's this first one right here. So as you can see, um, we need to select these two images at the same time. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. I'm going to assume, you know, these photos, I mean, these tutorials are for beginners. So I'm going to show you step by step to make sure you don't get lost along the way. So all I did was I left click on it to highlight one of them. and to select the second one, I need to hold the control button down. If not, the first one is going to get deselected. So I'm going to hold the control button down and I'm going to click on a photogra uh, photography of uh, waterfalls. And as you can see, and I just released the control button and they're both selected now. Okay, so we're going to click on open. And it's going to open up the two images that we have. We have the very first one right here, this one. And as you can see, it's highlighted. That's the name of it. And this other one right here, uh, now it's highlighted. So you can toggle between the two that we have. And we want to start on the image that we would like to make curl, make it curl, which is this one right here. Okay. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to make a copy of the layer by, uh, by copying it down here where it says background. So we have to left click on it to make sure it's, it's highlighted. And to make a copy of it, um, you have to left click hold anywhere in here so we're gonna left click hold and we're gonna drag it down to the plus sign uh, with the the square behind uh, around it right next to that trash can make sure it's not the trash can so I'm left clicking holding and dragging it and as you can see there's a circle with a you know a line slash in the middle indicating that it cannot be done um, so just ignore that and you want to keep on dragging it 
until you get down there and you see that plus sign with the square get highlighted and and you can see uh, the cursor it changes to like a gripping hand and at that point you want to release and now you have a background copy okay so and as always in Photoshop it's a very complex program so meaning that um, throughout this whole tutorial try not to get ahead by clicking away um, every click counts because if you just if you are one click away where a certain thing is not highlighted or it's not selected and you go on to the next uh, step and it's not working and it can get pretty frustrating you know obviously over time as you get better you will understand you know each thing and uh, it will get faster over time just like anything else okay so the very first thing that we want to do is we want to go to the rectangle marquise tool in the upper left hand corner okay we want to come down here it's right below the select tool and we want to right click on it sometimes you have to do it twice one to make sure it's highlighted a second time to bring up these uh, things okay so just know that um, so obviously we can select on any of them but the one that we want is called a rectangular marquise tool we want to left click on it to select and then it changes to the cursor changes to like a a plus sign okay so what we want to do right now is we want to go to the semi center right here we want to left click hold and we want to drag it down to here so basically selecting you know a portion of this area um, that we would like to curl up okay so I kind of like the the curl to the go past this rock a little bit um, so we're just gonna start right there left click hold and drag just like that and you want to make sure that it covers the left bottom left corner and bottom right corner right here I mean bottom right corner and bottom uh, and down there also and drag it as you can see my cursor is all the way out but it's not going past that uh, you want it all the way out like that so um, it looks more realistic okay and and now I'm gonna release so once I release you can see a marching ant right here so very important that after you've done that that you don't left or right click on anything else until we go to the next uh, option right here okay alright so after we've done that we want to go to the gradient tool it is in the same section as the bucket you want to right click on it and instead of uh, the paint bucket we want the gradient tool okay so we're gonna left click on it and once that part right there is, is selected it's very important that we go directly here without clicking anything else so we go to here to make some modification to that gradient tool and what we want is under basic and we want it from black to white which is this one right here so when it curls up it curls up from black to white as you can see it's it's gonna have that transition so we want to left click on it and we just want to click OK so directly after super important that we do not click, click on anything else again that we want to come down here directly now that um, that part's done we want to be at the very corner right here as far as possible want to left click hold and drag all the way up as you can see there's like a line right here you can move around so I'm, I'm holding the the left button and we want to drag it all the way up here and after that we want to just release as you can see um, it's a gradual from from white to black right here okay um, sweet so once that is done we uh, want to go to directly back to the marquise tool okay we want to come back to the marquise tool and then make sure it's highlighted perfect so we're gonna right click on it we're gonna left click on the angle again okay and then now after we have selected the marquise tool we want to be anywhere in this square area <clears throat> and we want to right click on it and we want to click on deselect so it's going to deselect this portion right here it's going to deselect everything and these steps they're uh, continuous so we have to, to do um, uh, basically the next step is right after it so we're going to right click on it and we want to click on free transform 
So free transform means that uh, we can transform these two images. Now they're kind of like together. And we are going to do it a third time, except this time we're going to right click again. We're going to click on warp. Basically what that does is it's going to warp up the whole area, allows us to basically warp the images, okay? So we want to come down here and we want to left click, hold and drag all the way up. And you want to drag it up uh, kind of past the, the uh, you can see this black part right here in these portion. You want to go it past so it looks a little bit realistic and we can just release anywhere. And the beauty of Photoshop is that, you know, it's each project is very unique and obviously you can make, you know, um, the subtleness of your project as you wish. So you can go ahead and left click and drag this part too. And it will, you know, do it to the side, you know, left click, hold and drag to make it, you know, how, how to you, how it looks realistic to you. And I kind of like it like this better. So it looks, you know, a little bit more curl up just like that and that looks amazing okay perfect so we're just gonna stop right there um, once you like um, how it looks you we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click on commit transform making sure that it gets transformed and as you can see it's saving up right now perfect okay so I think we've reached a point where uh, we have to save our work because um, we never know if something could go wrong with, you know, any kind of software that we use. It it can literally crash at any time. And if your work is not safe, then it's going to be lost forever. And, you know, you can start over, but it's never going to be the same. So it's always the best practice to do it. I'm going to always show this. So we are going to go to File. We are going to go to Save. It's also Control S right there. We're going to click Save. And we are just going to rename this as anything we want so we're just gonna <clears throat> put final two perfect and then we're gonna click save and then we're gonna get it click OK so now we feel good of uh, continuing our work now that has been saved and you know every few minutes or so I would highly recommend that you guys do a uh, save and there's a shortcut for that it's super simple it takes about like one or two seconds to do um, it will become you know muscle memory after a while so if you hold the control button down and tap s at you know every few minutes it will save at that particular point if something were to go wrong you know that you know um, that part got saved okay now we need to be able to fine-tune the image a little bit uh, we need to make sure that the first layer is clicked with the background layer copy and we're gonna make changes to to you know um, the quality of it. Uh, to do that, we want to double click on this small images right here. So make sure it's it's between the, um, these uh, squares, okay? This rectangle and not outside, okay? Because if you, if you double click right here, it's going to rename it. You know, you, you get to rename this, which you can. Um, but, you know, uh, we don't need to. Uh, we only have two images, okay? So we're going to double click right there to bring up uh, the layer style, which basically allows us to make more changes to it. And if you pull it to the right a little bit, you can, you know, make changes to uh, inner shadow or, or outer shadow. Uh, we're going to click on, you know, one of them. As you can see, this one, it allows you to, to bring up that shadow to make it a little bit more realistic, which is kind of awesome. And opacity is how, uh, how transparent you want it to look. So if we were to drag it all the way to the left, it looks as if, you know, um, the first one didn't even exist. Okay, so... To make it more realistic, we want to keep it as high as possible. I would say around like 90, yeah, like 80 or 90, 93. Uh, fill, we just want to mess around with it a little bit. Um, uh, so the, the best part about Photoshop is that, you know, there are many different options that you can choose from. So like this one, it allows you to move it back and forth, which we don't want to mess with. Um, that's basically it. We just want the inner shadow to make it uh, look a little bit more realistic as if we were returning a page okay and we're gonna click OK so now that we have done that so basically uh, the page curl is is 
you know one image above of the same image so it doesn't look as amazing but what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the other image up which is right here we're gonna left click right there and to be able to drag this to the other part super easy all we have to do is we make sure that this select tool is selected we want to left click on it to make sure that's highlighted so if you were to come out you'll see that it's darkened a little bit and you will be able to see it like right here so you need to be above any part of this image so ideally you're in the center somewhere we're going to left click hold and drag okay just like anything else left click hold and drag and we know we're going to bring it over here so we just uh, basically you uh, left click hold and drag it up here and you don't release it yet and as you can see it changes to the other one and all we have to do is just drag it back down and you can see the plus sign meaning that you can just drop it in. Okay, I'm going to release the left uh, click. Perfect. Okay, so once we have that, um, we can just move it around and if we want to enlarge it a little bit too, we can, which I would like to, to fill it up a little bit to make it, um, to fill up the screen. And if it's a little bit out of focus, it's a little bit too, it's fine. It's out of outer range. Um, to be able to make it larger, all we have to do is make sure that it's, you know, highlight it right here we're gonna click on control bottom left of the keyboard and tap T and you can see that you know it changes to this we can just left click hold and drag to enlarge it a little bit perfect so as you can see um, this image is in front of that image I and mean, we do not want that what we want is this new image right here to be behind the background copy so it look a little bit more realistic and as you can see also because the curl is kind of far out a little bit I would need to make this one uh, kind of all the way out here to make it as realistic as possible just like that so when I do put it behind it looks even more amazing okay so what we want to do now that we have enlarged that we want to left click hold and drag it right below here until we see We want to drag it below the background copy. Okay. Perfect. So, um, so I'm left clicking, hold, left click, hold, and drag until I see this uh, turquoise bar, meaning that I would like to drop it below that particular layer. Okay. So we're gonna release. Perfect. So now it's right below it, and as you can see, it looks really amazing. So it's revealing you know uh, a waterfall right behind it and it just looks amazing and I really like this work right now so what we're gonna do we're gonna left or we're gonna save it to make sure we have the work so we're gonna uh, click on con hold the control down we're gonna tap S so as you can see um, uh, there's a little flash right there indicating that it got saved okay perfect and and this is it uh, thank you very much for uh, watching and I hope you learn a lot we are going to uh, save this first before anything we're gonna go to file we're going to save it save as and we just want to you know rename it again just to make sure um, that we have uh, the Photoshop version and we're gonna click save and we are going to save it again but this time we want to save it uh, as a different format so we're gonna go to save we're gonna go to save as okay it's being saved right now the reason why it didn't work was because there was uh, a lot of data we're gonna go file we're gonna go save as but this time we are going to choose a different format it's gonna be a PNG which means that it can be um, read by your phone by you know other devices easily okay we're gonna give it the same name we're gonna click save and there you have it so it's, it's gonna get saved and let me show you the final result of it. Perfect. So we go to our content right there. Right there. Perfect. It looks amazing. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and if you guys haven't subscribed already, please uh, do so. And I hope you have an amazing day.